Hello. I've just rigged up some temporary wiring. I had a little think about it and I suddenly realised that fuel pump over there is switched from the dashboard. So what I've done, I've took the wire off the fuel pump, put a jumper wire over onto the solenoid and then there's another wire from the other side of the solenoid to the fourth gear switch there and then to earth on that bolt there. So here's the ignition on auxiliary. There's the solenoid. Here's the switch. So it's not in fourth gear, right? So switch, 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 switch. Nothing happens. So I'll put it in fourth gear. Now if you listen, and I'll put the phone down by the solenoid so you can hear it. Hear, hear, hear it clicking in and out. Off. On. Off. On. Off. So, and then just, just double test it. Look, back out, back out of gear. On. No click. Off. On, now click. Back into gear. Listen. On. Off. On. Off. Okay, I'll be back in a bit when I'm ready to do something. Back in a bit. Hello, look, uh, my car is in a state of disarray. Um, I have purchased and received a special relay. I also purchased and received a switch. I had to go online and I had to find a wiring diagram. Now this relay, there it is, look, overdrive relay, you can read the numbers, okay, and it's quite clever, and I'll show you how it works, and what, what I did, the first thing I did, I looked at the diagram, and I labelled up the pins, so that pin there is number 15, that one that's closest to you, and that's 12 volts in. Okay. 31. There, that one there that my thumb is on. That's ground or earth. There's a pin here that isn't used. 87, that one there is solenoid. Okay. Now here is a little one there that I'm not using that would go to a light and this is where you get the feed in from the momentary switch and this little one here <coughs> pardon me this little one here is the fourth gear switch okay that one in the middle isn't used so those are the those are the pin numbers and the um, things that are connected to them. I've picked up a feed from the fuse buck that comes on with the accessories, like that. So the feed comes from the fuse box to this switch and this relay on pin 15 there, that one, that one, that one there. Okay. And when you flick the switch, listen carefully, nothing happens. Why is nothing happening? Because it's not in fourth gear. So when you select fourth, there's the fourth gear switch down there. 
here's the relay so when you flick the switch now you should hear the relay and the solenoid click there click click off click on loud click click off gentle click and when you let's say that the overdrive is on click and you disengage fourth gear that's just clicked out now even though it was switched on that has now switched it off because if I come back into fourth gear you'll hear it do a loud click on there that's a loud click on and if you watch the amp gauge look that's on and that's off also likewise if you turn the ignition off and then back on the, uh, the relay will have latched back to its at rest state so uh, it's in fourth gear isn't it is it in fourth gear I think it is so on and then I can do off with the switch on again and I can do off by oop, taking it out of gear there and uh, off with the ignition so it's quite a clever switch because it means that um, well it, it is quite clever and it, it's got a good functionality I thought it wasn't working then I realized I hadn't got the gear get gearbox in fourth gear so so this is going to just tuck up the eye pillar there I'm going to tuck it up there there's a place where it can go so I can't really see what the phone's looking at so I'm going to attach it to that bit of metal there the wires will run down there I've already typed them to the main harness and I've just got them running across to there where it, it goes down to the fourth light switch and then that is earth there and then it runs back to the solenoid which is down there and then that is earthed there as well okay so if anybody's wiring up an overdrive with one of them relays that might be useful and it could be applied to any gearbox to be honest you know any gearbox that runs the j-type overdrive but that is marked as, as a volvo switch there's the wiring diagram sort of schematically not schematically but represented with the actual um, position of the things and uh, ignore that one that says light that might be wrong that middle one isn't used so you got 12 volt goes into 15 and also 12 volt feeds the momentary switch the switch goes in on 86 the fourth gear switch goes to ground from 85 87 goes to the solenoid 31 goes to earth or ground if you like so there's the Volvo overdrive relay wiring so you make your switch there and it turns it on and off and you um, it has to be in fourth if it comes out of fourth it turns off and doesn't turn back on again when you go back into fourth the way I had it just wired on a switch if I come out of fourth and left it turned on it would go back into overdrive when I reselected fourth um, that was just wired with a switch so there you go there's the wiring pretty simple but it did take quite a bit of um, looking on the internet and looking at um, some videos and looking at um, diagrams and look, looking at other pictures of the solar uh, of the pardon me 
and looking at other pictures of relays that had a wiring schematic on the side and the pinouts this relay was rather poor that it didn't have any labeling for the um, pins and it didn't have any sort of a schematic on it okay anyway there's my little moan I wouldn't have had a clue how to wire it up if I'd have been left to my own devices just looking at the relay okay righto back in a bit you can see the discharges the solenoid is in take it out of gear that's oh, it wasn't on anyway was it okay on out of gear back into gear stays off back on off on off with the gear stick so there you go good in it turn the ignition off off Okay. I'll just think of a way of attaching that then and I'll put everything back together and uh, I'll be ready for a road test. I have tested it um, using my temporary switch which is normally for the fuel pump so I need to reconnect the fuel pump and put the dashboard back in. Okay righto um, I'll bring it back when there's more to show. Cheers then, bye.